All right, a few episodes back, we made our UI uh, setup, our basic setup for selecting units. Now I'm going to make a basic setup for when we select a building. I'm just going to go into my buildings folder, make a widget in here. And I'll call this uh, building selected widget. All right, for this one, I'm going to add a canvas panel to start with. And that represents the full screen here. So I'm going to add actually another canvas panel somewhere around here and size that to something like this. And uh, I'll just move that over maybe a little. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, image. Drag that to maybe like here. And I'll set that size to 200 by 200. Uh, OK, let's make this just a little bigger. All right, and uh, now I'm going to add a text, some regular text here. I'm going to drag that something like here, and I'm going to call that, uh, or set the text, I should say, to building name, and I'll set the variable name here as well. We'll call this uh, building name text, and I'll set this to is variable. All right, then I'll also select the image here, and I'll make that variable name building image. OK, and the next thing I want to do is add another image here. I'll drag that about here, and I'll set the size to 100 by 100. And uh, that's, maybe that's a little bit large here. Let's go with uh, 80 by 80. OK, uh, and what I'll do here is call this one unit uh, production. Oops image. And now I'm going to make a progress bar. Drag that here. Uh, maybe a bit thinner, quite a bit longer. And I'll name this up here. I'll call this the unit production progress bar. OK, and uh, what I'm going to do as well is grab this unit production image. I'm just going to control D to duplicate. Uh, and I'll drag that here, but maybe change the size to 50 and 50. And uh, we'll drag that maybe about here. And uh, I'll control D to duplicate that again. Put one maybe here and uh, here. OK, and what I'll do is just grab another text element here. Put that about here and set the text to just a plus sign. And so uh, what I'm setting up here is we'll have uh, the picture of the unit we're producing and the progress. And then we'll have uh, the picture of the next three units uh, in the queue. Um, so you can potentially queue up however many units you want. And you can do more than three. We don't need to do more than three as an example. Uh, OK, and so what I'm going to do as well here is add, uh, first before that actually, I'm going to take this canvas panel and I'll just right click it here and say wrap with a border. Uh, but I'm going to set this border, uh, just click on the border here, and uh, I want to set the brush to, uh, instead of draw as image, draw as border. And uh, the margins here I'm going to set to 1, 1, 1, and 1. So a, a 1 pixel uh, border on every side. Um, OK, uh, next thing I want to do here is add a wrap box. I'm going to put that here beside this box and make it uh, roughly this size like this. Uh, OK, and for this one, uh, I'm just going to set the name here at the top. I'll set it is variable and set this to the action box, or set the name to action box. And uh, I want to have a border on this as well. So I'm just going to say wrap with border. And I'll make those same changes here. Uh, select the border, draw as border, and set these margins to 1. All right. Uh, and one more thing I'm going to do here for the uh, entire UI here, actually, I want to have a bit of a background. So I'll say uh, add another border element, just free, uh, freestanding. Make it cover the whole thing here. 
and I'll set the Z order to minus one. Now it's behind everything. Uh, and I'm also going to set the, uh, let's say the tint here. And uh, I'll set the alpha to 0.5 and uh, the color to maybe a kind of a gray here, dark gray. All right, so just sort of a neutral background for our uh, elements here to pop on the screen. OK, I'm pretty happy with that so far. So now we'll implement uh, creating and showing this. I'm just going to go over to my uh, parent building class. And I'll find on the event graph here in begin play, we'll change this to a sequence now. And I'm basically doing the same thing that I did in the uh, unit parent class a few episodes back. Uh, so we'll set this team color as the second thing we do here. And uh, before that, what we'll do is create widget. And we're going to make the building selected widget. And we'll uh, promote that to a variable. So we have a reference. We'll call it the building selected widget. All right. And uh, oh, right. One more thing I forgot here. In the building selected widget. I'm going to go to the graph and uh, add a variable here. And this will be building reference. And the type is going to be a parent uh, building class. All right, so we'll load up this reference with a reference back to which building. And I'll do that uh, here when we create it. We'll say set building uh, reference. OK, and the building reference is going to be uh, self. So I'll just get a reference to self. And we'll plug that in here. OK, and uh, so we'll say uh, create uh, building oops, selected widget. And uh, now what we want to do is when we select or deselect this building, we want to show or remove that widget. So uh, all we'll simply do here is say building selected widget, drag this over here. And I'll say uh, add to viewport. Connect that after select, uh, after the set visibility of the decal. And uh, we'll say remove from parent when we deselect. All right, uh, so far, so good, I think. Let's check it out here. I'll go back to my main menu, press play here, and uh, we'll host a game. And I'll select my building. All right, and I've got my UI showing up here. And uh, so I might need to just adjust uh, positioning here a little bit to the center. Or uh, I think if I open up an uh, actual window here, let's join, select. Ah, there we go. OK, the next thing I want to do is load up that building image and building name variable. So I'm going to go into my parent building class. And the first thing I'll do is make a couple of variables here. We'll say building uh, name, and I'll make that a string. And uh, I'll make another variable here called uh, 2D image and set this one to a texture 2D. All right. Uh, and so similarly to the units setup, I need to uh, load up a picture here for each of my buildings. And uh, so what I'm going to do is once again use my content browser here. Uh, and I'll take a picture, or a screenshot I should say, of this uh, thumbnail right here. And so I'll use Shift, Windows key, and S. And I'll just grab this here like that. OK, and I'm going to hop over into GIMP here and paste that. Control shift V. Uh, and what I'll do here is just go to image scale. And I'll make sure it's squared off here. Actually, I'll set this right to 200 by 200. Uh, that's the size we made our image box there on the UI widget. And I'll just export this. All right, and back in the engine here, um, I'll just make this a bit smaller again. And I'm going to drag that file in here. First building image. 
PNG. OK, uh, and so now that I've got that image in here, I can load that into my first building as the image. So I'll open up first building, uh, and I'll find, let's see here, if I uh, might need to compile my parent class here. Compile, and first building, yes, there it is, 2D image. And I'll set this to first building image. All right, so I've loaded up an image in here. And I'm also going to load up a, a building name. So this is the friendly name that we want to call this uh, building. And so I'm going to call this, let's say, the command center. All right, so I'll compile, save, close. And what I want to do now is in my building selected widget, uh, I'm going to go to the event graph. And I'm going to drag in here my building name text. And uh, on event construct here is where we're going to be creating this logic here. I'm going to say set text. And I'll get this from the building reference. So I'll grab building reference. And we'll say uh, get building name. All right, and I'll plug that in here. OK, and then uh, the next thing I want to set is that building image. So I'll say um, grab uh, building image from over here, drag from here, and set brush. And uh, for the brush here, we'll split the pin, set the image size here to 200. And the image is going to be our uh, 2D, ref uh, 2D image from our building reference. I'll just use the same reference here, get 2D image. And we'll plug that into the brush image. All right, perfect. We'll see if that works just as it is. Um, yes, it does, actually. All right, I'll just join over here. Select our building. And perfect, yeah, we get our uh, image here loading up and our command center name. All right, and so the next thing I'm going to do here is look at making the rest of those elements invisible if the building's not producing a unit. Uh, so I'm talking about basically all of these elements right here. We don't need to see those if we're not producing anything. And so we'll bind to their visibility. But what I'll do first here is go to the parent building class, make a new variable, and call this is producing unit, question mark. I'll make that a Boolean. and uh, I'm actually going to set this to replicated. We're going to need that replicated for later. So I'll compile and save. And back in the widget here, I'll start with the uh, unit production image. And I'll find visibility here. Uh, and I'll bind to that. I'll say create a binding. What I want to do here is get the building reference. And from that, we're going to get is producing unit. And uh, we're going to use that to determine whether we should see those or not. So I'll just plug this in here. Uh, and if it's true, then visible. And I'll press Control D to duplicate that. And if it's false, then we'll set it to hidden. And I'm just going to grab all these nodes here, press Control C. And I'll go paste those in the rest of the uh, bindings that I'm going to make here. So I'll go back to the designer, select, say, the progress bar here. Uh, and I'll find visibility here. Uh, where is it? Uh, that's why I always just like to search. I can't find some things like that sometimes. Uh, I'll bind here, create binding, and I'll just delete this return node, paste in all those nodes. And uh, I'm just going to repeat this a bunch of times for the rest of those elements. All right, so I'm finished with that, and uh, we'll check out the result here. I'll click on the building, and perfect. So we don't see any of those elements unless we're producing a unit. And uh, that's actually what we're going to get into here in the next video. So that covers everything for this one here with the UI. And next video, we're going to start uh, setting up so we can produce units from our building. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.